Today we're going to play four in a row. What you need for four in a row is just paper, pencil. If you have a dry erase board, that works too. Um, our game cards that you made earlier, a die. Um, we can use slips of paper. That way you can know player one is yellow, player two is orange. You can also use coins. I could be pennies. Ashley could be nickels. Whatever's around the house that's easy to do. Um, we could play with all pennies. I could be heads. You could be tails. So what are, whatever you have available. Um, so with our, with our paper, what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly make a grid. Now, we know that we're going to be dealing with digits from 0 to 9, so Ashley's going to start filling in 0 to 9 on the grid. Um, again, this is emphasizing um, whole, part, part. Um, composing and decomposing numbers is really important, and that basically it's just a fancy word of, you know, breaking numbers apart and putting them together. So let me help Ashley out here. When, when your child is making these, um, you can emphasize proper ways of writing the number. For video purposes, we're moving kind of fast. Is that neat? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we are ready to play, and that's how quick with the game. Now the whole option of the game is I want to get four in a row either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Um, so I'm going to go first. I flip over my card. I see that I have a whole of nine. Well five and four make nine. So I'm going to find four on the board somewhere and I'm going to then make it my own. I need to figure out the whole. So four plus five is nine. Oh, I got a missing hole too. So that I know that five and three, that might be tricky for kids. So um, you might wanna give them some wait time or some thinking time. So that's eight. Oh, look at you with your strategy there. Hmm. Two is my hole, so one plus one equals two. And again, my hole is seven. What makes seven, four, and three? And we're going faster, just so that you get the idea. Five is my hole, so two plus three is five. And there's also some strategy that happens on the board. You could do some blocking. You can just strategically decide where you're placing it. Oh, I'm missing a part. So I know that six and what make eight? Six and two make eight. Four is my hole, so two plus two is four. Again, I've got I know uh, the known are my two parts, so I know that they make the whole. So three and three would be six, so three and four would be seven. Oh, where do I want to put my seven? Put it there. Ten is my hole, so three plus seven is ten. Oh, well, those combinations of 10. 10 is our friend, so my missing part is 6. <laughs> 10 is my whole, so 7 plus 3 is 10. 5. Um, one of the things, too, if you run out of cards, you can always um, reshuffle the ones that are already used. 2 plus 8 is 10. All right, so my whole is 10, 8, and 2 more would make 10. Ten is my whole. 1 plus 9 is 10. Um, I know that 5 and 1 is 6, so it has to be 5 and 2. My missing part is 2. So one of the things, too, when you're playing with your um, child, you might want to have them figure out how the, with the strategy that they're using to kind of figure it out. 7 is my whole. 4 plus 3 is 7. Oh, man. 4 in a row. Good job. Good game. 
Um, and again, too, as, as your um, child gets a little bit quicker with those combinations of numbers, um, the game will move faster. So you might want to play best out of three. Um, you might want to change the board around. And then, too, sometimes you might want to get more complex number bonds. But thanks for playing with us today.